Why does the Babinski sign appear? And a positive Babinski is normal in infants while it is abnormal in adults. What is the brain trying to tell us with this sign? Let's decode the Babinski reflex clinically and neuroanatomically. In a healthy adult, when sole of foot is scratched with a blunt object, the stimulus is sent to the spinal level. Now, since the brain is highest center, when the stimulus reaches the brain, corticospinal tracts influences and inhibits the spinal reflexes. And because of that, a protective response is seen that is flexion in the toes. But when there is any UMN lesion, let's say in a stroke patient, this circuit is disrupted. The corticospinal tracts are damaged and as a result, their inhibitory control over the spinal reflexes are lost. And as a result, there is an opposite response seen, which is extension of the great toe and fanning of fingers. This is called a positive Babinski sign. So in summary, the corticospinal tract is damaged. Inhibition is lost and primitive reflexes like the Babinski resurface. But in infants, the extension response is actually normal. This is because the nervous systems in a baby aren't mature enough to inhibit it and there is no flexion or a protective response seen. And when the baby grows, brain develops and the primitive reflexes starts disappearing. So when adults show it, it's like the brain is behaving like a newborn again. That's why we call it a primitive reflex. And when Babinski is positive in an adult, an upper motor neuron pathology is suspected. So you will see Babinski sign positive in stroke, multiple sclerosis, brain tumors, diffuse axonal injuries, etc. So next time you see an upgoing toe, remember, you know, it's not just a reflex. It's a signal of lost brain control, a tiny movement with a big message. Thanks for watching.